right. Same place I pitched last week, but uh, got a lot of wind blowing from the south. So, gonna pitch up a different direction here today. Tarp adapter straps here. All right, so I'm going to do a couple different things today. I'm going to put the uh, Osney top quilt on. I'm going to snap it to this side since the wind is coming this way. I'm going to snap a Osney cloak on top of that. And then because it's so windy and it might snow, they're talking about snow a little bit, I'm going to put my poncho snapped on top of that so they'll all be on here. Okay, so the wind played a little havoc with my camera and smacking around in the trees. Junk. <laughs> so anyway, so what I've got is I've got my beast on the ground. Next up I've got my Osney top quilt, which is basically a blanket that's insulated with Climate Shield Apex. Then on top of that I've got my Osney cloak which is also a poncho liner, has a hood in it and all that, but it can, it's adaptable to this system as well. And then on top of that, I've got a heavy duty uh, poncho. This is Ranger Green, Cordura, so it's Cordura Nylon Poncho. And I uh, thought I'd like to use that since it's so windy, you know, that might be a plus. And, uh, so now, so everything is snapped together. It's all snapped along this edge. The wind is coming mostly from back here and from over there. It's kind of switching back and forth a little. So I've kind of tweaked my lay here just a little bit. One of the advantage of this is, you know, I, at any time I can change direction of it. It's not a big deal. But anyway, so there's my, there's my bed. I'm really actually kind of excited to get into it <laughs> when it comes bedtime. But anyway, so there it is. I'll show you some more detail tomorrow. And uh, this is going to be awesome. So just so I can show the layers here. <laughs> the wind doesn't want to cooperate too much with me. I think I got it. So anyway, so there's my there's my layers right here. The beast, the Osney quilt, top quilt, the Osney cloak, and the HD poncho in Ranger Green. That is going to be a nice cozy bed right there. Max, now I got it set up, I'm actually excited to go to bed. <laughs> Time to get up. I'm letting the sun be in my alarm clock today. Whew. Man, we had a storm last night. That snowed a little, not much, but man, the wind blew like crazy. But I slept good. See right here. There's frost inside of here. That's from my body moisture. You can see it right there. But look. Gone. All I got to do is shake it off and it's gone. So my body moisture passes through my blankets. They don't hold on to it. 
it winds up out here where it was cold and froze froze to my poncho but all I got to do is shake it off so it doesn't stick to it and and it, so it doesn't matter I'm I'm dry I'm good to go I attached my poncho to everything last night because the wind was just blowing so much I needed a little bit of wind protection so I snapped so I snapped it onto the beast over top of my Osni top quilt and my Osni cloak. So all three things are snapped to the beast. They're all integrated to it to form just a little personal shelter. And man, I'll tell you, it worked good. I slept, I slept straight through the night except for the time or two when the wind really, really got going. That just kind of woke me up. I went right back to sleep. Whew. So I mean it was it was all good anyway. I slept like a log. I woke up about seven and uh, then I went back to sleep. And uh, I don't know. Some of these camps I've been working so much. Some of these camps are just my chance to catch up on my sleep. I decided I'm just gonna let the <clears throat> so I just let the sun wake me up. So when it comes up and warms up my head, it's like okay, it's time to get up. Oh man, I don't really want to get up. It's so stinking warm in here. It's like crazy. I got bare feet, and I like bare feet in high in here. Is the warmest. My feet have just been toasty warm. Really nice. One other thing I wanted to show you is that so last night I put the this Osni blanket 3.6 ounce climate shield apex in it. And that goes on top of the three inch beast. Then I put the Osni cloak, which is a liner actually for the poncho, and it's the same climate shield. And the Osni cloak has double-sided snaps on both sides of it. So, as you can see here, I snapped the Osni cloak directly on both sides to the poncho. And then all that is snapped to the beast on the other side. So everything's attached. And this side right here is my side that I get in and out of right here, just like flipping back a blanket and now this extra space is a little extra space right here there's not as much when you're in there because your body kind of pulls some of that back but I'll throw my shoes and a little bit of stuff kind of right in that area just to kind of keep them out of the elements a little bit so this whole thing right here is really a nice setup there's a lot of different ways you can use it. You can use it at all different kind of weather conditions and all that. And uh, and and literally, it's really simple. And uh, it's a nice little setup to use. You know, I like my hammocks and stuff like that. Our ponchos do make into hammocks. But in colder weather, especially, I really do favor going to the ground like this. I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> Okay, so in the morning here, I get up from my beast, and if you notice, I didn't use any ground cloth under it. I just threw it straight down on the snow, and I'm fine. I just brush it off like that. Now, when I came, actually normally I would, I would have taken up the beast this morning when I got up, but I've been videoing do, doing different things, but. So it laid here longer than normal. First thing this morning, there was nothing stuck to it at all. So, um, now if the snow were wet, kind of soggy snow, this had been driven by the wind here, so it was pretty dry, kind of grainy. So, you know, I didn't feel any problem just laying the beast right down on the snow. And it wasn't any problem at all to do that. So. You know, just got to think of your situation, but I'm not, I'm not opposed to using a ground cloth when needed. <laughs> I 
some people think, oh, he doesn't ever like a ground cloth, but no, that's not true. <laughs> when it's needed, I'm in favor. <laughs>